Hello, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. Now that we've got our motors mounted, I'm going to show you how to finish up the wiring and get your Emacs 200 in the air. Okay, one of the steps that I did mention or show earlier is I unsolder the signal, the orange wire, off of each ESC. Then I solder the signal wire from the appropriate wire off the flight controller wire harness to that ESC. I use the motor diagram to figure out which motors one, two, three, and four, and I solder the pins from the flight controller, the yellow pins or orange pins in that order. The first wire that comes out of the wiring harness with the red and black wires connected is number one. So I wire that to motor number one ESC, then the second wire to motor two, motor three, and motor four. What this did, it enabled me to have a lot of extra room and not as much wiring laying around. Now, on the negative wire, you can go on the forums and see numerous should you have the negative cut connected, should you not have it connected. I figured the best way would be to have it connected. So what I did is I soldered all the negative wires together and that goes to the, and then the five volt negative off the power distribution board that I used. Because that negative voltage would also go into the signal ports if you were to power it off of you know, a normal speed controller, B, E, or C, or something. So that's a common ground. And then, so that's the negatives off the, all, all the speed controllers, all four of them, soldered into the negative off the number one pin, where it's the three wires. I use that negative, and then that, that little bundle, I soldered into the five volt negative spot on our power distribution board. Then I soldered the red wire from the signal harness to the positive on the power distribution board. Now what this does is it's going to power my flight controller off 5 volts from our power distribution board. All our ESCs are ground to the same ground, common ground, and our signal wires are going to go out to each motor, 1, 2, 3, and 4. You want to double check your signal wires because it would be kind of messy if you have to switch those later on after your build. You can also see another wire here connected by this switch. This is the power for my video transmitter and camera. This port here on the power distribution board is the voltage of the battery. This transmitter can use up to 20 volts so it doesn't matter what size battery I plug in. And I connect it to this one by the switch so that I can turn off and on the video transmitter so if I want to work on the bench or just not have the video transmitter I can just select that off and on. I also put electrical tape on the back of the power distribution board. This will isolate it from the carbon fiber frame which is conductive and could result in a short if your positive and negative wires touch. I now mounted the power distribution board onto the frame with the bolts from the Skyline controller. Plug in the Skyline flight controller to make sure everything's going to fit good. And this will mount on top of the flight controller. Alright, here's a picture of all the wiring. It's complete now. It's a little messy, so I'll try to highlight some of the features here. First off, you can see the wire here. This is for the video transmitter. Um, you can see the receiver buried under here with the black duct tape. I stripped down the VA4R and solder directly to it. That wire is coming off of the flight controller, the Skyline. You can see the Skyline arrow. You want to note this so it'll make your configuration clean fight easier. You'll know which way is forward. Um, I've also got the VBAT battery plugged in here, or the VBAT sensor. It's going to come off the power distribution board and plugs in the Skyline. I've got a horn. I've also got my battery plug in wire right here. I have it on the side. I probably would do this differently and make it come off the front. Um, it, it is not a lot of clearance on the side for the propellers. Here you can see a red JST connector and a signal pin labeled channel 5. This is channel 5 off of the Skyline which you can use to control LED lights. So it, they require a 5 volt power supply so I wired one in as well so that when I get them I can plug it in and I can program some cool lights. Link will be below. Alright, so that's basically how I've got my 200 wired up with the Skyline. This configuration would work good with any 250 quad with the Skyline. I actually do like the little wires. They're nice and thin and small and easy to get into places. So I would recommend using this on any 250 size quad. Now all you got to do is close it up, put your camera in, and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed the bill. If you got any questions, post them below or visit 2dogrc.com. Thank you, and thank you Emacs for the product to review.